boys and girls and Pokemon fans of the world, it's your boy Mega Crasher coming at you pumped up, coming at you hardcore, and coming at you with still lots of hype and energy left, man. Even though I just got back from the gym and I'm sweaty as fuck, we still have ourselves a lot of hype to get through, man. So this right here, you could say, is going to be part two of Mega Crasher's crazy as hell workout coming in the form of Subscriber Showdown Sundays. Woo! This right here is a series where it features your boy, Mega Crasher, narrating the battles that you cool cats submit to see me narrate. Now, with that being said, okay, we have ourselves four amazing battles that we gotta get to narrating. So, with that said, let's aim for 25 likes here for this video. And I've got a feeling that you guys are going to love this fucking shit right here! So, with that said, let's get the hell into the first battle. We have ourselves a Gen 7 Anything Goes match. We got Takeshi 29 versus Cats Are Praised. Meow. Now, I just gotta say, cats are praised. What in the actual fuck are you thinking, man? Are you kidding me? Half of your team is consisting of Luminion. Now, I know, okay, I know that you're a cool cat in our community, and I, like, much love to you, okay? You submitted some of the most craziest gimmicky battles, and, 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 and this right here, okay, this right here should be no exception. I mean, you, half your team consists of goddamn fish, of Luminion, but... I've got a feeling, okay? I've got a feeling we're gonna be seeing something big time special. Now, Takeshi is packing the legs of Durant. Now, I'm not talking about Kevin Durant, the basketball player. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm talking about the metal and Durant, the kind of fucking Pokemon that will chew you up for breakfast if you're not careful. We got the Gliscor. We have ourselves the Galvantula. We have the Gengar, or could that be Mega Gengar? We have ourselves the Mantine and the Crocodile. Now, Cats are praised. Half the team consists of Luminion. We also have ourselves the Kingdra, Manazone, and the Yuxi. Now, I know when it comes to Anything Goes, okay, like if you are going to be using Pokemon in Anything Goes, you would normally think about the likes of Mega Rayquaza, Primal Groudon, Xerneas, all that shit. But you know what? It isn't about the kind of Pokemon that you use for competitive reasons that are the most powerful. It is about the kind of Pokemon that you love to use the most. So... With all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's just get the hell into this. Set your phasers to stun, get set, and go into the first match, baby. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so kicking off this battle, we got Galvantula and Yuxi. Now, that's a bad matchup for Yuxi, but it goes for Magico. Doesn't even care about the bug buzz. Takes almost half damage. Man, that thing is strong. Holy shit. So Galvantula goes for another Bug Buzz, and that's not going to be enough to take out Yuxi. It goes for the Psy Shock, and that's going to do almost half damage to Galvantula. Okay, man. So what's going to happen next? Galvantula goes for the Bug Buzz, and with the critical hit, takes down Yuxi. That didn't even matter, but now we got Kingdra, baby. Okay, what the hell is going to happen next? Oh! Holy shit, that Thunder, though! That does some damage, and it goes for the Substitute, and whoa! Wait a sec! We got Focus Energy up in this bitch! Oh shit! Or should I say, the Lance that Barry pumping up the critical hit ratio, and it goes for Dragon Dance, boosting the attack and the speed by one stage, and that Waterfall, without question, is gonna take out the Galvantula. So what's gonna happen next? We got the Gengar coming in. Oh! Should I say the Mega Gengar? Oh shit! We go for the Waterfall, and what's gonna happen here? Oh, what the hell? We go for a Flinch? He got a Flinch up in this, and that right there is gonna spell the doom of Mega Gengar. Okay, baby. So now we have ourselves Mantine coming in. What's gonna happen? We go for the Iron Head, and... Oh! What the hell? He got flinched again. Are you kidding me? That's two flinches in a row. And we go for a third Iron Head. Okay, what the hell's gonna happen? Another flinch. And my third uh, Iron Head, I'm talking about third attack, three flinches in a row. Holy shit, and that Iron Head with the crit takes him out. Oh, that's a sniper kicking in, man. That's the reason why Kingdra has the focus energy up in this. And now we got Durant coming in, and oh, he takes Rocky Helmet damage, and he survives, but he gets flinched again. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Five flinches in a row. Oh, man. Kingdra's like the new Togekiss, okay? Holy fuck, that was crazy. And now we got Gliscor versus Magnezone. Bad matchup, and oh, he hangs on with the Sturdy, though, and he actually ends up eating the Salad Berry, goes for the Hidden Power Ice, and he barely hangs on with 6% health. Holy shit. But Magnezone, oh, I've got a feeling that he was going to be able to outspeed him the next turn, and he takes him down. And now we got Crocodile coming in. What's going to happen? He, oh! Damn, he survives the flash cam with relatively good health left. 
and he gets taken out with the earthquake. And oh god, we got the Moxie coming in now, man. We got the fucking Moxie coming in now. So we have ourselves a Luminion going for the skull. He survives. Oh, oh but he gets the burn though, yo! And of course, had he not got burned, that earthquake would have taken a Luminion. But instead, that burn took out the crocodile. Holy shit, man! Oh damn, that right there, I'm telling you. That right there was a solid first battle. I just gotta say, once again, you know, these gimmicks are almost too fucking much, brother. I'm telling you, man. You're gonna kill me one of these days with these epic as hell godly gimmicks. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, a great game by both competitors, but my god, we're not even started yet. We gotta get set now for battle number two. What the hell? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what the fuck is this? Okay, so we go from one battle that was gimmicky as all hell, which was absolutely epic, to another battle that is exactly that, gimmicky as hell, and I absolutely love it. We have ourselves a Gen 7 balanced Hackmon's match, okay. Oh my god, if you thought Anything Goes was fucking insane, where literally Anything Goes, this tier right here is like... Oh my god, it's like this tier right here, like anything literally goes. Like, you let your imagination run wild and you can come up with some of the most funky like a monkey kind of shit, you know what I'm saying? So we have ourselves Raider BTVR versus Sakaria1, another name like Cats Are Praised that is somewhat familiar in this series. Now, I gotta say that this cat needs to calm the fuck down with these kind of gimmicks, man. I mean, yes, we have ourselves three Pokemon against six, but I, 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 I have a feeling that the odds aren't going to be in the favor of Raider, okay? I just have a feeling because Zakaria has come up with some of the craziest shit that we've seen in the past. So anyways, uh, Zakaria is packing the Mega Rayquaza, Mega Ray Ray up in this baby. We also have ourselves the Mega Alakazam and Ash Greninja, okay? I'm talking about human form Ash, the kind of Greninja that will slice and dice you up and don't even care, man. But Raider BTVR is packing what looks to be almost a full shiny team. I mean, we've got the shiny Zoroark, we have ourselves the shiny Regigigas, shiny Mega Garchomp, and Age Slash doesn't look to be shiny at all. We also have ourselves the shiny Dragonite and the shiny Tyranitar. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, my hair is going all crazy on me, man. Let's just get the hell set into the second battle, shall we? Oh, jeez. I am smelling massacre, okay? So, we got Regi- And then Regigigas has slow start. We got Ash Grenade. What? It just went for Spore. Are you kidding me? What the hell? Okay, this ain't good. Oh, God. That's really not good. It's got fucking Shell Smash. That means it's attack, special attack and speed, all got plus two boost. Just right then and there, and that white herb just destroyed the defensive special defense drop, and now we got plus four in attack, special attack and speed with another shell smash. Are you kidding me? So we got one water shuriken, two, three, four, five? What the hell? Holy shit, and we got Regigigas, he wakes up, and because of the slow start, cutting the attack in half, that brick break is not gonna be enough to take him out. He goes for yet another spore, okay. Okay, man, what the hell is gonna be happening here? Like, this, this, this right here, this ain't looking too good. Regigigas switches out and goes into the Tyranitar. Oh, big mistake, champ! Big mistake right there, you just let him shit set up another shell smash. He's plus six now and everything. So, oh, 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 what the hell? Zoroark just got completely cold coughed right in the face, man, with Water Shuriken, holy shit. And now we got Dragonite coming, can draw, oh, 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 what the hell? Dragon Ascent Greninja just took out Dragon yo! And now we got Garchomp coming in. Well, is he gonna survive Water Shuriken? Is he gonna survive the Barrage? No, he's not! And I have to say, that must be Skill Link Ash Greninja right there with Water Shuriken. Are you kidding me? And we got Aegis Slash coming. He's gonna go for the Funky Dunky Water... No, the King Shield, man. And we have our... Okay. The Inevitable's gonna happen. Yep, and with the crit to add insult to injury. Look. Three, four, five. Yep. Five strikes and you're out. Five, forget about the three, son. Three is not gonna be enough, he needs five. And now we got Regigigas coming in, and yup. He's fast asleep, but he's gonna be permanently asleep and fainted. And now we got Tyrantar coming in. I'm not liking his chances, baby. Like, look, it's super effective and shit. Look, one, two, three, four. Forget about your special bulk and sand, son, cause you just got taken the fuck out by Ash Greninja. Woo! Holy shit! 
I just gotta say, that right there was a very, very unusual and very fun matchup to narrate. Great game by both competitors, and it's as my boy AF Blaze says, like, Zakaria, you need to calm the fuck down, man. Like, these gimmicks are almost too much, just like Cats and Praises gimmicks are almost too fucking much. Are you kidding me right now? Jeez, man. Woo, God. I don't... I don't know if I'm gonna be able to last much longer if this shit keeps up, but like we got we gotta keep going, man. And if you guys hung with me this far, we're only halfway through the insanity that is subscriber shown on Sundays. So let's get started with the third fucking matchup, shall we? Alright, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys thought that the last two battles were absolutely insane and you can't take any more crazy out of style kind of gimmicks where it wouldn't even be possible in regular tier play. Well, you guys are in luck because we have ourselves a little bit more of a calmed down kind of tier, but just because the tier is more calmed down and more organized seemingly, that doesn't mean that what's going to actually take place in the battle is going to cooperate when it comes to calming down. Because what we got going on here, we have a Gen 7 doubles OU match. We got Lickius or like who is blah, 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 blah. man. I'm not even gonna bother trying to pronounce that name, so I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry if I butchered it. Police don't need choke me. I'm just gonna call you 2707, okay? 2707, that sounds much sexier. Woo! And we have ourselves Sky Knight and Man. And that right there's another name that is somewhat synonymous with this subscriber showdown series. So, Lickius or like okay. 2707 for, for fuck's sakes, that's going to be your name. We got the Fur Alligator. We have ourselves the Whimsicott. We got the Tapu go 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 We also have ourselves the Electivire. We have the Kumpay, and we have Mawile, or could that be Mega Mawile? Now, Sky Knight of Man is packing what looks to be a mono-flying type team. But the thing of it is, is that there's three Pokemon on his team that could potentially be Mega. I mean... We have ourselves Salamence, Charizard, and Gyarados. All three of them could be Megas, but the, which one is going to be the Mega? That's the question. We also have ourselves the Mandibuzz, we have the Lander Syrian, and we have the Togekiss, aka the Kiss of Death, with that motherfucking Serene Grace Air Slash. Fuck! Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, let's just get the hell set for battle number three. Woo! All right, let's get it on. We got the Whimsicott and the Feralga leading off of one end versus the Sky Scorcher Charizard and the Sky Champion, the Salamence. Okay, man, what's going to happen here? Oh, we got Mega Charizard Y. Oh, shit. Okay. And we got Tailwind from the Whimsicott. Okay, what's going to happen here? Uh-oh, Solar Beam on the Feralga. Oh, 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 what the hell? That was a 1-8 KO right there, bitch. Oh, shit. And we got Z-Power on the Salamence and Super Saiyan Sky Strike. Holy shit! Oh my god, what a fucking turn that was! First turn to open the match! Oh my god, okay. We need to see that shit again. Okay, 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 okay. Like, this right here was awesome. Like, like just check this shit out. Okay, Whimsicott and Feralgator come out, okay? Now, Whimsicott sets up the Tailwind, and you would think that Feralgator would be able to benefit from that shit right away. Ah, uh, no! No, 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 friends! Like, check this shit out. It seems like it got denied. For Alligator got denied the opportunity to take advantage. He gets taken out with a super effective sword beam. Oh! Holy snap. And if it wasn't for that focus sash, Whimsicott would have been KO'd as well. Holy shit. Man, that first turn caused so much damage. But now we got Tapu Koko coming in. And of course, Sky Scorcher sir, switches out and goes to the Sky Deity, the Lander Asterion. So what's going to happen here? Stunts for it paralyzes the champion. Oh, shit. And we got Discharge coming in. Oh, he's going to take out the Whimsicott because it's a spread move. And that's not going to have any damage whatsoever on Sky Deity, but it will on Sky Champion. And we got Earthquake going on. Oh, Tapu Koko actually survived the super effective Earthquake. But then again, it is spread damage. But now we got Dazzling Creamy Cream Cream Baby. going to be taking out the champion. And Sky Deity is going to be damaged as well. Oh shit! Electivire goes for that Ice Punch and takes out the Sky Deity. That ain't good. Now we got the Sky Demon. Now we got Sky Angel going on. Okay, bro. What the hell is going to happen here? We got Discharge going. Oh shit! Motor Drive. Oh, that ain't good. Oh, what the hell? Holy shit, Ball Demons. Oh man! Sky Demon survived a plus a times four electric terrain boosted discharge, but that's because of Focus Sash, okay? A critical hit and all, and he survives. Holy shit. Okay, man. So Ice Punch is going to take out the Sky Angel. What is the Sky Demon going to do? He goes for Earthquake. Oh, ho, ho! 
Ooh, takes a tap of Coco. But Electivire still hangs in there, and he's plus one of speed. So that's a very, very dangerous Electivire right now, man. Especially with Electric Drain still up. And the Ice Punch. Oh, damn. Not going to do much damage to the Sky Scourge. But, of course, that Dazzling Creamy Cream Cream from the Kumpei will take out the Sky Demon and also damage the Sky Scourge. Now we got Snarl going on. Going to be taking down the special attack by one stage each whenever it hits a Pokemon. Oh, shit. Okay, this is getting good. We got the Sky Scorcher back in. Oh, okay, what's going to happen? Ice Punch, and that's not going to be enough to take him out. And we got, oh, we got Z-Power coming in. And Kumpe used Twinkle Tackle, and that's not going to do, like, really any damage at all. But, of course, the Heat Wave is going to do some heavy damage, taking out the Electivire and damaging Kumpe very heavily. And we got Snarl again, going to lower the special attack yet again, man. Holy shit, okay. Now we have ourselves Mawile coming in. The question is, though, oh, it's Mega Mawile. Oh, shit, here we go. Okay, and now we have ourselves Helping Hand. And, oh, okay, that Helping Hand turned into the Heat Wave of Death, and he just got his ass taken out. And that right there is going to be the game. Oh, my God. That was absolute insanity right there. Oh, oh, oh shit. I had absolutely no idea why Kumpfe decided to go for Helping Hand and Mega Mawile didn't go for something like Sucker Punch to try to hope for a KO on Sky Scorcher, but that right there, holy shit. That, that was a scorching battle. You wanna talk about Scorcher? Holy shit, that was scorching hot. Woo! But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, y'all hung with me this far? It's now time for the main event. I'm talking about none other than battle number four. Woo! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now we get on to the last battle, the main event to close out this epic as hell video known as Subscriber Shout on Sundays, man. We have ourselves a Gen 7 RU match. We got O'Malley 101, who is also the brother of Rebel Penguin 20, who is also yet another familiar name in this series. And we have Brown Alpha being the opponent. Now, O'Malley's team is looking pretty interesting. I mean, we have ourselves a Samurai. We have ourselves the Reuniclus. We got Swana. We got the Clang Clang. The Clickety Clang. Woo! I just gotta say that despite how silly that name sounds, I gotta say Clang Clang is one of my favorite fifth generation Pokemon. I love it. It's so awesome. The stats are so fucking awesome, man. We also have ourselves the Galvantula and we got the Zep Striker. Now, Brown Alpha's team is looking pretty damn scary. Woo, my lord. We have ourselves the Me the Medicham, man. And if that thing is scarfed, that's gonna be real trouble right there. We have ourselves the Unpheasant. We have ourselves the Flareon. We also have ourselves the Heliolus. That thing is scary as hell, man. We also have ourselves the Bronzong and another scary threat in the RU tier, that being Yan Mega. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, let's just get the hell into the fourth bout, shall we? All right, let's do this, man. We got Zeb Striker versus the Bronzong. And we got the Zeb Striker with the Bloom. Okay, what's gonna happen? He goes for the overheat right away. And that doesn't do that much damage. That's probably because that Bronzong may in fact be heat proof which cuts the power of fire type attacks in half oh shit okay that is different okay so what's gonna happen he goes for the stealth rocks okay so what the hell is gonna happen next man what's gonna happen oh shit zeb striker goes for pursuit and that's gonna do a lot of damage to bronze on because he was switching out and now we got Yan Mega coming in. So what's going to happen? He goes for Protect. And what's Zeb Striker going to do? Oh, well, he goes for the Light Screen, man. Okay, that right there was an awesome move right there. But he goes for Bug Bus. Oh, 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 with the crit, he gets taken down, man. Oh, my God. Holy shit. You see, that's what I'm talking about. Yan Mega being a fucking threat. And now we have ourselves Galvantula coming in, man. And we got Air Slash coming in on the Galvantula. And oh, my God. Another fucking flinch. How many flinches have we seen so far in this episode? So we have ourselves Hidden Power coming in. And the Thunder. Oh, oh, oh. Yan Mega just got smoked and roasted with that Thunder. And now in comes Flareon. So what's going to happen next? That Quick Attack is going to be enough to take out the Galvantula. Oh, shit. That's not good. And the light screen wears out. And now we have ourselves the Reuniclus coming in. And he takes a heavy hit from Flare Blitz. But he survives with a little under half health. And he goes for Trick Room. And we got Psy Shock going on. And that's going to take out the Flareon because of its really bad physical defense. And Psy Shock targets the physical defense of the opponents. But now we got Infestive coming in. And the Psy Shock is going to do a little over half damage. And we got the Night nice Slash. He barely hangs on with 9% health. Unpheasant switches out and goes back into the bronze on, man. And now we got Psy Shot going in. And that's not going to do that much damage because four times resistant, man. So what the hell is going to happen next? He goes for the Shadow Ball. Oh, he hangs on with 
percent health, and it goes for the Jarball, and that's gonna do like not that much damage whatsoever. Reuniclus is much slower than Bronzong, but he is gonna be able to outspeed the Gloopy and take him out with the Gyro Ball. So okay, what's gonna happen next? We got Swana coming in. Okay, man, this is getting hype. Oh, ho, ho, ho! we got Z Power Swana, and it goes for Z Rain Dance, which means he sets up the rain, boosts the speed up by one station, and Zen Headbutt's gonna do a lot of damage. And of course, what's gonna happen next, man? Swana is Grease Fucking Lightning. And he takes him out with the Scald, Rain boosted and all. Okay, man. So now we got Metachamp coming in. So what is going to happen next? That Bullet Punch, he barely hangs out with 3% health. And he gets taken out with the Hurricane. Oh, snap, son. That is crazy. And now we got Heliolus coming in. And he goes for the Hurricane. And that's not going to do that much damage. But he does get confused. So what the hell is going to happen here? He gets taken out with the Hyper Voice. Oh, shit. Okay, man. So what is going to happen next? We got the Dry Skin. going to heal up a little bit of HP in the ring. But now we got the Clingity Clang coming in, man. So what's going to happen? He switches out. Okay. And now we got Unfesson coming in. And oh, we go. Oh, God. Okay. That's not good. Oh, shit. That's really not good. You really shouldn't have done that because Clang Clang, it just took his ass out with the Wild Charge. Okay. This ain't good. All right, man. And now what's going to happen? We have ourselves Heliolus coming in. Okay. But he goes for the Gear Grind once. Oh, 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 oh. Damn, that second crit, that second hit with the crit was very clutch. And that right there was, without a doubt, very game-changing. A very close, close 2-0 victory for O'Malley. Great game by both competitors. Holy shit. That was amazing. That was absolutely amazing. And if you guys agree, holy shit, that was awesome. Okay. That right there is going to conclude these battles and conclude this video. So if you guys enjoyed the hell out of this video as much as I enjoyed making this, then make sure you smash the like button, okay? Like I said at the beginning of the program, let's aim for 25 likes here. And if you want more content like this, make sure you rate, comment, share, share, share this video, and subscribe today to Mega Crasher and the community for the best, and I mean without a shadow of a doubt, the best. Pokemon Sun and Moon hype that you can find right now, right here on YouTube. And just overall the best hype and entertainment. Fill with fire, fill with dice, fill with the electricity, and fill with everything nice, man. When it comes to your Pokemon types, coming from your boy, known as Mega Crasher, because you guys are know the deal by now, my friends. When we're community type hacks on this one, you know, damn Skippy, man, that we shine much brighter than the sun and the moon combined. So thank you very much for watching. Much love to you, Cool Cat Legends. I will see you next upload.